What's up everybody? So I have here the 2956 OG blacksmiths in the charcoal and they are, I have not worn these, these are, look at that, look at that sole and that heel looking good. So uh, these bad boys uh, I'm giving to, I'm gifting to um, Paolo who is a PA uh, who I've, whom I've worked with for about a year or so, maybe longer, I can't remember. But anyways, uh, since I've not worn these, I'm gifting these to Paolo. His first, your first boots. Yeah, my first. His boots. first boots, first Red Wing boots. You always remember your first, right? So these uh, beautiful boots are going to Paolo. So there you go, my man. All yours. Thank you. This is crazy. <laughs> They're so pretty. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Boo. All right, new year, new boots. Today we have the Double RL Rio Sub Mercedes ropers that just came out. Uh, I have a friend who works for Double uh, RL, so I will have a lot of new things from Double RL. So I get the heads up for certain things. And so I walked into Double RL last week and bought two pairs of boots this is the first pair i'm going to review these are the new ropers for spring and they are buttes so let's get into the details of these boots and i like these because they reminded me of these here that i picked up at kimosabe these are a rough out with a nubuck shaft and i absolutely love these because they have a a lug sole on there and they have a bit more of a, a walking heel and I took these with me when I went to Vancouver over the Christmas break so eight days in Vancouver and I just trashed these I wore these in the snow uh, in the slush in the rain and with it being rough out rough out is the king of all leathers it takes a beating quite well but you can see that uh, the I'm gonna have to get a new heel because I walk crazy and then secondly you can see on the side the weld with all the snow and salt I'm gonna have to have that uh, when I take it when I take my boots to get a new heel they'll touch it up for me but um, just to show you that I absolutely uh, trash these and I love these and I went to um, the shop Vancouver and TJ saw these and he absolutely loved them. He took a couple photos of them and he uh, is interested in this look, this style, which I don't blame him because these are just really cool. And I actually love these so much, I have two pairs. So I purposely took these so I can trash them because I have a second pair that are brand new that are waiting for me. So, all right. Let's get into these beautiful double RL ropers. This is a full grain cowhide on these boots and you have the rough out on the vamp and then you have a smooth on the shaft, which I don't know if it's the same leather. It could be the same leather. I'm not sure. They didn't specify if it was the same, but it appears to be the same. Uh, we have uh, an inch on the heel and then the, um, shaft is 11 inches on here so these are a bit higher than these but not by much just just a touch just a tad bit taller so these are good uh, if you're not really into uh, having a really high shaft uh, this is a good 11 is red wings are around nine inches um, some uh, boots like the engineers are around 10 so I think 11 is like a, a really good sweet spot for that we have a round toe on here which you know I absolutely love and then the the double R rail Rios do not come with an insole so I normally go a half size up when I buy a Rio or Mercedes from anywhere else but since these don't have an insert I went with just a nine normally I go nine and a half because I have full insert no insert in these. They are leather lined. Let me take out this piece. They are leather lined, which is really nice and soft, but there is no insert. So it's just 
which is not bad because this textured rubber outsole is the best. When I put these on, it takes impact so nicely that it's okay that you don't have that uh, leather, no, sorry, that insert because this absorbs impact really nicely. So um, not really troubled by that. The only thing that I, I'm curious and I had, I requested is when this heel wears out and I walk crazy, I always get that crazy angled heel is if I can get another one of these, that's going to be the tricky part that I'm really concerned. Um, but, uh, love the color. It's really neat. It's a bit lighter than the, if you remember the, the Remuda, no, which ones do I have? No, no, no. This rough out is lighter than the Kudu. If you remember, uh, re me reviewing these Kudu from Planet Cowboy, which I absolutely love this color. So this is a bit lighter and shorter. So this is um, for their spring, but I love a rough out. Rough out is the best, if I haven't said that enough already. Rough out is king. <laughs> All right. All right, let's do the on feet. Okay, here I am with the on feet with the double RL walker boot. Now, I know I have mentioned it earlier, but I just want to reiterate exactly how comfortable the heel and the outsole, the rubber outsole are on these ropers. Ridiculously comfortable. And you know I have many, many real Mercedes ropers and I wasn't expecting since these do not have the insert, the full insert to be so comfortable, but that leather or sorry, that rubber outsole on there makes up everything. So as I was walking to shoot this, walking downstairs and then having that heel uh, and toe impact, that rubber creates a great deal and spreads that impact throughout the, the boot quite nicely. So also I'm glad to, that you guys will be able to see these in daylight. Um, so I am wearing uh, Imogene and Willie uh, chinos with these uh, ropers and um, I'm actually glad to see these in daylight because I have not taken these out yet and it's always nice to actually see what that color looks like. I have to say I'm really impressed with the double RL Rios ropers. I've been eyeing them for several years and I went to the Ash store a couple of years ago tried on a pair that they had. That's one of their standards that you can probably find right now on the website, but didn't pull the trigger. And then with these, I just couldn't pass it up. It was the combination of the rough out, uh, the two tone, and also just wanting to try out that rubber sole. And then also with them being only, uh, what, 11 inches. So I'm glad I did. And you should too, if you are even on the fence, slightly on the fence about it, you should pick up a pair. All right. It's cold outside. I'm going back inside. <laughs> that is the double RL Rio Sub Mercedes Walker boot. I'll see you guys next time with the other double RL boots that I picked up. Be a boot. See you guys next time.